later on but let's move on now and pan sunday was in strict adherence to government orders barring religious gatherings except for a few priests and church orderlies who are present to assist the archbishop philip agnolo in carrying out the religious rituals at the holy family basilica the rest of the catholic faithful followed the mass from their homes after it was beamed live on all on various tv stations rather now archbishop agnolo sees the moment to offer special prayers for all the victims of COVID-19 and the families who have lost their loved ones through the virus. Now, meanwhile, the late Archbishop Rafael Ndingi Mwananzeki will be buried on Tuesday inside the Holy Family Basilica in a brief invite-only ceremony. As we enter the Christian Holy Week beginning today, Palm Sunday, through Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday and Easter Sunday, we pray that may, that may the suffering of Jesus on the cross, his death and resurrection be a symbolic giving life and giving us the chance to reflect on his suffering for humanity, that we may attain eternal life. Let us prepare for our hearts by repentance and charitable works. The Catholic Church wishes to join the government in appealing to all to obey and strictly adhere to the calls of social distancing wearing face masks and taking the sanitary measures very seriously as prescribed by our public health officials. We give our moral support and pray for all the health care workers who are in the front line, risking their lives and battling the virus. May God protect and keep them safe in their line of duty. Archbishop Ndingi will be given a befitting church send-off on Tuesday, the 7th April 2020, during a brief solemn funeral mass to be celebrated inside the Holy Family Basilica at 10, after which his remains will be laid to rest inside the same basilica same day. The invite-only ceremony will be relayed live on television for those at home.